Hi, this is Simon Obstel, and welcome to another tutorial for Apple Motion. And today we're going to take a quick look at how to create this noisy glow effect. So let's make a start. So let's just quickly check up on our project setup. 1920, 1080. I've got a frame rate of 24 and a duration of five seconds, but it's kind of irrelevant because we are working with a still image, although you could, of course, use video for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and import my asset. So noisy glow image, import that. Looks like this. It's just a kind of test image just to show you how this is all going to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this group and I'm going to make a clone of it. Right click, make clone layer. And that means that anything we put into this original group, which we can in fact now turn off, will actually then autom automatically update through the rest of the project. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to Add Object Generators and I'm going to look for Noise. And I'm going to bring that in to a new group, drag that up to there. So we can turn this off. Let's just call this group Noise and we need to make it fixed resolution. And then what we can do is come back to this group here. And what I want to do, first of all, is I want to kind of roughen up the edges a little bit. So what we can do is, again, let's make this group fixed resolution. We can come to Filters and Distortion and Refraction. And then we can use this Noise group as the height map. And you can see we're getting rough edges. It's, it's a really useful technique for kind of creating rough edges like that. And if we wanted to make them larger, we could just come into the noise, that noise layer there, you can see we're kind of making it larger. I'm just going to stay with 100% for the scale, but you know, if you need to come in later and, and adjust the size of this noise, then you can do exactly that. So what I also want to do is I want to have a luminance mask. So this is only affecting the brighter areas of the image. So to this clone layer, I'm going to add an image mask and I'm going to use my original group as the mask source and I'm going to switch to luminance. Then what I'm going to do is to that image mask, I'm going to add color and threshold. And you can probably see already a change there. So as I adjust that threshold value, only the brighter areas actually are affected by this refraction. And we can turn our original group back on again to see the composite that we've created. So you can see the roughness is being limited to these brighter areas only. So you can adjust that to taste. I think I'll probably go for something like that. So I've called this refraction group a roughen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this clone layer and holding down the option key, I'm going to drag it out to create a new group at the top there. And I'm going to call this one glow. So to this group, we can add filters and glow and neon, but we actually want to have a noisy glow. So what we need to do is we need to make a new group. So that's objects new group and then drop this glow into it. And I'm going to call that new group noise glow. So what we can then do is we can add an image mask to this noise glow group. So right click, add image mask. And for the image mask, we're going to use our noise group. So drag that in there and again, switch to luminance. And now you can see we've got this noisy glow. And again, because we've got that image mask there with the threshold, we are only really glowing the brighter bits. So these darker bits at the back here, they're not actually getting glowed. And all that remains to be done is to adjust this neon filter to taste so we can have a wider outer glow like that. Edge intensity probably doesn't do very much here. The inner glow is that kind of the closer glow. So we can make that really bright if we want like that. And if we want to adjust the intensity of this noise mask, we can again add to this ma image mask here a color and you've guessed it, threshold. So you can see that as I adjust the threshold, I get more or less breakup of that underlying glow. So that's really the effect. It's very, very simple. And as you can see, it would probably be really nice for something like a 
lightsaber or something. You know, if you look at this line coming in here, that kind of noisy glow would probably be pretty good. What I might just finally do is actually, to, with this noise glow group, set its blend mode to add, just so it's adding to the layers underneath. And then we can use its opacity and just adjust that to taste like that. Okay, so I hope that's been useful. Thanks very much for watching. See you again soon.